Hey everybody, Blues Matt here with another quick video for you. Today is February 14th, 2013. Happy Valentine's Day. And today's video topic is a continuation of an earlier video where I talked about some tips for viewing photos on a Windows PC. Today we're just going to focus on using Windows Explorer. Alright, let's get started. What I'm going to do here is double click this folder I have on my desktop. I've already set it up in advance and inside that folder are a number of pictures. That's, this is what we're going to work with today. Okay, so when I double click this folder Windows Explorer opens up and I have a navigation pane here and I can see some thumbnail views of the images that are in my folder. For today's video I want to focus on these two buttons, the Organize button and the Views button. Let's start with the Organize button. So if I click on the little down arrow here, open up another little menu, that was a left click by the way, and mouse over the Layout menu item, you can see that I've got a number of different choices, choices in this little sub-menu. Menu Bar, Details Pane, Preview Pane, and Navigation Pane. Let's start with the Menu Bar. If I click on that, left click you can see that the menu bar appears and now I have access to all of these menus if I left click organize again mouse over layout you can see that the menu bar has been checked or selected if I go ahead and click on it again the menu bar disappears let's take a look at the next choice details pane Preview pane, navigation pane. Well, let's start actually with the navigation pane. It may be a little difficult to see, but it is actually already enabled or turned on. And in fact, that's what the navigation pane looks like. If I want to turn the navigation pane off or disable it, I just click on it again. And just like the menu bar a second ago, the navigation pane now disappears. To turn it back on, simply click on it again. All right, let's take a look at the details pane. We'll click on this one, and you can see another little pane opens up at the bottom of the window. We'll kind of stretch this out a little bit. Let me go ahead and select one of the images. And now you can see that there are some details about the image that I just selected that are displayed in the details pane. Things like the file name, the date and time it was taken, the dimension in pixels, the file size, even some information about the camera that was used to take the picture. I can now go ahead and click on some of the other images and see those details. If it's easier or if I prefer, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to select the different images and update the details pane. This pane is resizable, so if I just mouse over the border, left click and hold, and then drag the border up or down, I can resize the pane. All right, let's take a look at the last one here, the preview pane. Go ahead and select that. And open up the window a little bit. So I have this image selected, and now you see it previewed in this pane right here, the preview pane. Meanwhile, the details pane is still open and active, as well as the navigation pane. Let's see if I can make, looks like the preview pane is as wide as it can be, but I can make it narrower if I choose. I also have the freedom of resizing the details pane. And of course, I can resize the window. I can even go full size if I like. And just like before, I can use 
my mouse to select different images and update each of the panes that are open or I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move around and select different images. All right, let's try turning some of these things off now and see what we get. Let's turn off the details pane. Let's turn off the navigation pane. And so now we just have the preview pane open. Okay. All right. Can't, I can move the border that far. That's as far as it'll let me. All right, so this is pretty useful. Let's get back to the original layout that I started with. Okay. So this is pretty much what I started with earlier at the beginning of the video. Now let's take a look at this views button. If I click on the little down arrow, you can see I have a number of choices. Right now the medium icons are selected. I could choose large icons. You see what happens there. I could choose extra large icons. And you see what happens there. And of course I can resize the window. And just like a moment ago, I could jump over to the Organize button and turn off the navigation pane. So now I just see extra large icons of the photos in my folder. Let's turn the navigation pane back on. If I rather not see the actual icons, I could look at the files in list format. I could also look at a detailed list. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's go back to the list. Let's turn the navigation pane off. And let's turn the preview pane on. If I select the first image, make this a little wider. and then use the down arrows on my keyboard I can scroll through a list of photos and see a preview a fairly large preview let's get back to where we started turn the preview pane off and the navigation pane back on and we'll go back to medium icons now what happens if I just click on the views button not the down arrow let's try that that looks like the list view that's the detailed view that's a, a, a tiled view there's the medium icons and then we start over again so there's a real quick way to just cycle through four different views of what's in your folder. Let's take a closer look at the tiles. So this shows a little tiny preview of the image. Gives me the file name, the kind of file, and the file size. Let's try clicking on the Organize button without clicking on the... Let's see what happens there. Just opens up the menu. So clicking here or clicking here does the same thing. But on the View, Views button, you can see it's two separate things. There's a Views button and then a Views down arrow for more options. 
All right, so I hope this helps you out a little bit. This has been Blues Matt. Thanks for watching.